going on all of my pre-healthcare brothers and sisters, as well as those healthcare professionals that are trying to decide if they want to go back to school and progress their careers. Today I'm going to be filming an updated video regarding does it matter if I attend a university that's accredited or not accredited? All right, let's break it down. So one of the top questions that I get all the time on my social media is does it really matter what school I attend, if I plan on going to healthcare college, or if I plan on furthering my career and getting a more advanced degree? Well, the short answer to that question is yes, it really does matter where you attend because a lot of hospitals are requiring that you attend a school that is nationally accredited. So what exactly does that mean? What is an accredited body? So accreditation bodies govern nursing school programs throughout the country so that there is a set requirement of information that you need to know and need to learn to pass your board exam, such as your NCLEX, as well as practice within the United States hospital systems. Having worked in nursing education for three years prior to personally attending healthcare college, I was able to firsthand witness how important it is to attend a college that is nationally accredited by one of the two accrediting bodies. Too many times I saw nursing students, healthcare professionals, and so forth be turned away because they attended a school that wasn't nationally accredited and it was unable to verify if that college met the requirements for them to practice safely within the healthcare system. So let's go over who the two nationally accredited bodies are that supply accreditation for nursing school programs. So the first one is called the Accreditation Commission for Education and Nursing, that's the ACEN. Uh, they accredit nursing education programs such as your associates, your diploma programs, your bachelor programs, as well as the master programs. The Accreditation Commission for Education and Nursing is a voluntary, peer-reviewed, self-regulatory process by which the non-governmental association recognizes educational institutions and programs that have been found to meet and exceed standards and criteria for educational quality. Big time. That's something that you need to know. So the second national accreditation organization is the Commission of Collegiate Nursing Education. That's the CCNE. They accredit only master's and baccalaureate nursing degree programs. Uh, officially recognized by the United States Secretary of Education as a national accreditation agency, the Commission of Collegiate Nursing Education is an autonomous accrediting agency contributing to the improvement of public's health. So that's also another good one to know if you're looking up your school to make sure that it's accredited based on one of these two bodies. And I just want to put this out there. There are additional accreditation bodies such as the Council of Accreditation for Nurse Anesthesia Educational Programs, the COA, and American College of Nurse Midwives Division of Accreditation, the ACNM. Um, those are general nursing education programs with very specific specialties that accredit, accredit based on those specialties. What we're discussing here is just the general healthcare accreditation for nursing and what you need to know to make sure that you're attending one of those colleges so that you can get that hospital job that you're looking for. So one of the questions I get is what are the main differences between the two accreditations? Uh, most, most nursing colleges use the same standards criteria to accreditate various nursing school programs. However, dependent on the accreditation, some schools are only granted accreditation for specific periods of time. Uh, it's best to make sure that you contact the nursing school or the accredited bodies to discuss the length of accreditation to determine if the school will remain accredited during the time of your tender uh, prior to graduating from that college. So a lot of questions I get is really what are the benefits and the disadvantages of me attending a accredited college versus a non-accredited college? So the benefits of making sure that you attend an accredited college is that you're more competitive in the job market when it comes to the hospitals because they know that you meet the guidelines to provide safe and efficient patient care. Uh, employers establish relationships with accredited practitioners from nationally accredited schools and standards, so a lot of times it's easier for you to get in if you attend certain colleges in your area. Disadvantages, it can be more difficult to obtain a position within a healthcare institution. As I said before, I witnessed it personally of people attending colleges that were not accredited. So where was un, uh, they were, the hospital was unable to verify if the college was actually meeting these standards for safe and efficient patient care. And because of those reasons, hospitals don't want to take the risk of you harming a patient or getting harmed yourself because they don't know if you meet those standards. It can also be difficult to obtain an advanced degree. 
um, such as like a BSN or a master's degree because a lot of the colleges want you to have attended an accredited college to make sure that the courses that were covered were actually um, courses that would have been covered at another college that was nationally accredited. So really there's a lot of disadvantages personally of attending a non-accredited college versus attending a college that is accredited um, will be more beneficial to you. So something that you're gonna see a lot on certain colleges websites is approved by State Board of Nursing. It can be confusing, what exactly does that mean? Is it an unaccredited college, is it an accredited college? So approved by State Board of Nursing means that that specific state in which the school is located has set standards for education practice and approves the school to train students to be eligible to sit for the National Council Licensure Examination or your NCLEX. However, this does not mean that the nursing program is accredited on a national uh, certification body. It is only accredited in that state. If the nursing college you plan to attend is not accredited, you may find it difficult to obtain higher education from either your BSN or your master's program. And there's this in no way implies that you're not going to get into those programs or that you received a lesser education at the non-accredited program. You'll still be able to sit for your NCLEX if it is state approved, um, but if it's not, you'll be ineligible to sit for your NCLEX. So personally, my recommendation to you is if you plan on attending a healthcare college, is to verify that it is accredited prior to attending. And I'm gonna go over that with you right now. So let's take a look at what both of these websites look like and what the approved by State Board of Nursing looks like as well. All right, so I have it pulled up here on my iPad. You can see it on the screen. I've got my handy dandy pen that we're gonna use here. So this is the Accreditation Commission of Education and Nursing's website. This is where you can look up if your um, associates, your baccalaureate, your master's degrees, if those are actually accredited. So you wanna start off by be, um, selecting your state or your country. I'm gonna select Florida since that's where I live. And you want to search their programs. So let's take a look at my associates program on here. I attended Seminole State College of Florida to get my associates. Um, you can see under here on the accreditation status, the initial accreditation was June 1989. So they've held this accreditation continuously for a long period of time. Uh, current accreditation status, they're still accredited and there's no accreditation stipulation, so that's great. The date of their last visit was October 9th uh, to the 11th of 2013, and they're expecting their next one in the fall of next year, um, fall 2021. So if you plan on attending this college, you kind of have to take the pros and the cons. As you can see, they've been accredited since 1989. So this is something to me that's a low risk uh, accreditation college. I'm not really worried about if I'm attending there this year or next year, I don't feel that they're gonna lose their accreditation. You kind of have to keep looking. See, so you see here, South Florida got theirs in January of 2013. Uh, Southeastern College, Miami Lakes got theirs just two years ago. So you kind of have to take the pros and the cons of what you feel is a high risk versus a low risk when it comes to trying to figure out which specific college you'd like to attend and if it's worth investing and putting your money in to make sure that you're accredited by the time that you finish. So next we're gonna take a look at the CCNE, the Commission of Collegiate Nursing Education. Um, this is the one that we spoke about. They only do the baccalaureate and the master's accreditation. So again, we're going to start by looking for our state and which program say, let me do baccalaureate, there we go. So you can see here there's a whole bunch, it's just a little bit different, but it primarily has the same information that the other um, ACEN holds on their accreditation website. So let's take a look at my bachelor's program. Here we go, the University of Central Florida. So it actually gives you the name of the nursing administrator here, as well as contact information, phone numbers, and fax numbers. And again, initial accreditation date was September 28th of 2002, so they've held that. Not quite as long as uh, Seminole State has held it, but they, they're up there. 2002 was a while ago. Uh, most recent accreditation date was March 22nd of 2017, so they recently got accredited, so they're still good. 
Um, it doesn't actually expire, expire, sorry, until December 31st, 2027. So if you plan on attending there between now and 2027, I think you're going to be okay. They're going to remain accredited, and of course, they're one of the major universities in Central Florida, so I'm not really worried about them losing their accreditation. Um, last site evaluation was March 2017, so that's good. They were recently um, evaluated, and the next on-site evaluation isn't really until they expire, I guess, so spring 2027. So these are great websites for you to use and look up to make sure that um, these colleges are accredited and that they're going to continue to remain accredited while you're in the program. There has been instances when I worked in nursing education where somebody would enter the college, the college was accredited, they had a site visit halfway through them getting their education, and they ended up losing accreditation. So just take kind of some of that into consideration when you're considering colleges of where you want to attend. Uh, cost obviously is always a factor. There's different factors, uh, flexibility regarding schedule and things of that nature. However, I highly, 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 highly recommend that you review both of these websites prior to making that decision because this is extremely important when it comes to working for the hospital systems or for magnet hospitals where they have to have a certain amount of people come from nationally accredited hospitals that have a baccalaureate degree. So it's really important that you review these. Very, very important. So lastly, let's take a look at what I was talking about earlier, the approved by State Board of Nursing and what that kind of means. So if you look here, I've taken the liberty of taking out specifically where this school is at. However, it says accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. So this particular college is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission, a regional accreditation agency recognized by the U.S. Department of Education. So it's a regional accreditation, not a national accreditation. So depending on where it is that you want to work um, and where, what it is that you want to do. With regional education, a lot of hospitals don't recognize that. I can tell you from my experience, this regional accreditation was not recognized. They want a national accreditation. Uh, so you kind of have to take that into consideration as well. I know that they have a lot of information in here regarding what regional accreditation is and how that kind of um, works in your role as a healthcare provider. And if you want to further education in those things, they kind of put it up into this pretty package. And while it's great and while it can be useful for some people, it's not always the best for everybody. So just make sure that if your plan is, is that you want to work at maybe one of the, like the higher type of magnet hospitals out there like John Hopkins or Kaiser or those type of things, it's important for you to understand the differences between um, regional accreditation and national accreditation. It's very important that you make sure that you attend those national accredited colleges because they will ultimately get you in and get you that education that you want. I hope that this video is helpful for you in understanding the differences in accreditations between colleges and also help you do your research prior to accepting an invitation to attend those colleges. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love interacting with you and I would love to answer the differences between these colleges and if you feel like your college may or may not be accredited. Make sure you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, but until next time, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.